you know, I just don't know anymore. <laughs> uh, man, let me tell you, I don't know anything about anything anymore. Because apparently, it, it's another week of college football. We don't know what in the world's happening. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's just start off with the big one. Not not that big one. We'll talk about that in a moment. But um, South Carolina upsets number three Georgia. And now they're all the way down to number 10. But we'll talk about what's coming up next week in just a few. But it was comical the entire sequence at the end of the game. Um, fortunately, I wasn't watching that game, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> But I wouldn't know everything. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have seen all of it. But the highlights that I did see from that game, especially the last few minutes, was disgusting. There were missed field goals, missed opportunities. Georgia played terribly, and South Carolina did just enough. They 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 manhandled Georgia, and. Honestly, South Carolina should have won this thing in, in maybe, you know, they should have won this thing in regulation. They had to drag it out to overtime. So, both kickers missed kicks, cut them both. Um, but Blankenship, especially, of course, you know, missed a kick to tie the game um, for Georgia, anyway. And thus, South Carolina has done the unthinkable and has beaten Georgia. So, Georgia, not out of it yet, um, but it's not looking too good right now. Um, Oregon just takes care of business. wasn't even close against Colorado. It was absolutely gross, you know. Uh, Forty-five to three, and let's just talk about the big one real quick. Where I wanna, I wanna gouge my eyes out. Um, I wanna get the bleach. I wanna drink it um, because this was an absolutely disgusting performance. By the Texas Longhorns. Um, we got manhandled. We got beaten. It really shouldn't have been me close. Honestly, the way this defense of Oklahoma played, you know, Jalen Hurts was finally rattled a little bit. Once again, he was finally rattled a little bit. You know, he was back to Jalen Hurts' form. Um, he's under pressure. He really doesn't do that well. It's really the system that what Lincoln Riley has, you know, in place. But man, Alex Grinch, got to give credit to that defense, you know. Um, they did one hell of a job. And the O-line for Texas has got to fix a lot of things. And know we had a bunch of injuries, but that's no excuse. Now two losses on the season, one to LSU, now to Oklahoma. Um, you know what? I think these two names are going to meet again. It was a – it was – a Red River shootout for, you know, for the ages once again. You know, it was great. It was great. Even though we lost, it was great. You know, we had hope. We had something going. Uh, but ultimately, C.D. Lamb was just too much. You know, he was the best player on the field that, that day. You know, could do nothing about it. Um, here's an interesting story. You know, Michigan's still bad. Michigan's still pretty bad. They allowed 25 points. Illinois, but Illinois just squandered it all away, so, you know, it doesn't even matter. Um, Wisconsin, Jonathan Taylor didn't even run for 100 yards, but he still got two touchdowns, and boy, oh boy, another shutout. Wisconsin's defense may be one of the best in the country, let me tell you that. Good God. Bama, Clemson, take care of business. Florida State and Texas A&M are trash. Let's, let's not even – not even discuss that, you know. Arizona State, Washington State was very, very interesting. Are you firm for Herm? Are you firm for him? Let me tell you, I am. <laughs> oh my goodness. Arizona State and Washington State had another great game. Ultimately, it ended up being Wazoo taking the L, you know, and it was a great game. Um, you hate to see it for Washington State. They've lost three straight. You know, Arizona State's still in this. You know, they could they could sneak in and do something. You know, the Pac-12 South is maybe theirs right now. You know, it may be theirs. Let me tell you that. 
and it's crazy. Uh, Cincinnati takes care of business. Baylor, Texas Tech catching the end of that game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was some rough ball, but you know what? You know what? Baylor gets W. They stay undefeated. There was some rough ball. Um, surprisingly, the – well, here's something that isn't a surprise. Minnesota um, did not – well, this is actually a surprise. Minnesota, they are – undefeated they are doing things um they're just under radar right now same with appalachian state they're also ranked now um they played again on wednesday night which was hard to believe um minnesota's ranked you know they looks looks like it's going to be a cakewalk for them until that november slate hits for them uh, penn state iowa really wasn't that good of a game it was another Big Ten disgusting bore fest, and you know, um, yeah, it was just it was just boring, you know. But Penn State wins anyway, you know. They are they're still undefeated, also, you know. Notre Dame keeps keeps winning. Um, they they had the they had to escape at the very very end, but you know, Notre Dame keeps winning, and I think I think Notre Dame will probably lose another game down the road, which will. Pretty much in their hopes. I don't know when they'll lose again. But Notre Dame. Um, this performance was not very convincing. You know, they only won by three against USC. USC has been inconsistent all season long. So you know, um, the big matchup of the night. Um, we'll get to in a moment. Um, checking out some other good things here um, from the you know the from the Mountain West Pac-12. Um, Utah takes care of business. Oregon State is no challenge. Boise State also takes care of business. No challenge from Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii put up 37 points, but uh, and Washington, they get back on their winning ways after just absolutely destroying Arizona. It wasn't even close. Good God. But now we turn our attention to Florida LSU. Florida LSU. Let me tell you something. Man, oh man, oh man. I, 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 LSU has the firepower. Let me tell you that. Uh, they have the firepower to maybe stand to Alabama. I don't know about the defense, though, but, you know, they certainly played better than Florida. They played way better than Florida. Burrow was out there doing his magic again, you know, and really. Um, Really, it, it, it could be Alabama LSU one and two, and we all know what CBS is gonna try and do. They're gonna try and put this game on prime time once again. So, oh God, it, that that might be one hell of a game right there. Uh, but LSU still needs to fix their defense a little bit. They did get they did give up twenty eight points. Um, Florida, and that's not what you want. But Florida fought, they fought well, but ultimately LSU just did way more in the end, um, you know. And not even talking about, uh, it isn't up on my screen, but Memphis did indeed lose the Temple. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, the American Athletic Conference is still in the hunt for something. That, that conference is looking pretty good right now. They're looking pretty good. Lots of teams only have one loss or undefeated still, like SMU is. Um, and that conference is going to be one hell of a dogfight. Now, um, it's Alabama and LSU right now. They're the, they're the top two. They're, they're, they are the coaches and AP's top two teams right now. So I'm thinking – you know, unless one of the two slip up, which is probably unlikely, but who knows? You never know. It's college football. It's an any given Saturday type deal. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe Mississippi State does something this week. We'll talk about that when we get to the next week preview. Oh, oh my goodness! But yeah, um, I think we we've separated the. Pretenders, and sadly, my Longhorns are pretenders. We're not there yet. Uh, but we separated the contenders and the pretenders. We p- 
pushed some more pretenders out the way, and there's more contenders ready and willing to fight for a national championship. A national championship in quotations, because we all know there is no actual sanctioned national championship. But, um, yeah, LSU is clearly the team that has the most upside to them after after these last six or seven weeks. Uh, Wisconsin's up there. I think they have a dominant defense. LSU has a dominant offense. Bama's Bama. Clemson's Clemson. You know, Trevor Lawrence has improved um, over the course of the season, but he's still inconsistent down there. And really, it's going to be about that Clemson defense. Um, Ohio State has Justin Fields, you know. And they have a good defense. They haven't really been tested. Uh, Michigan State's not really the team you you want to say, oh, well, this is a good victory because Michigan State is inconsistent. Um, Notre Dame still there. Georgia's still there. Like I said, just because Georgia lost doesn't mean anything. You know, they they can still they can still do something for their chances for a national title. Penn State's still here. They're undefeated. <sighs> You know, and keep an eye on Arizona State as well. You know, Pac 12's not out of it just yet. Everybody in the Pac 12 does have a loss, but they're not out of it yet. Not even close. So, that being said, everybody, that's going to be week. I don't even know what the week is. That's going to be. It's going to be week seven in a nutshell because I can't remember. Anything, you know, it's been a long season already. So, (laughs) Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I've got. Thank y'all. We're going to keep on going. We got a lot of videos tonight. And, you know, uh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for these other two um, that I want to put up tonight. So, with that being said, peace.